Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, in previous lecture, we have discussed about one-to-one -one relationship mapping, right? So we have implemented unidirectional one-to-one -one relationship mapping between employee and passport. So employee only uh, is associated with the passport. Employee only. Uh, 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 rela employee only relation is associated with passport so we have implemented unidirectional mapping so why i am calling it as a unidirectional mapping so passport cannot access employee information as of now so if you try to fetch the passport details if you write any if you write separate api to fetch the passport details it will always give passport details only so along with the passport details if you fetch uh, employee information then passport also will be associated uh, with employee so this is called bidirectional so as of now we have implemented earlier we have implemented employee only can access passport details but in reverse way passport cannot access employee details so before implementing bidirectional mapping I just want to explain you uh, we have implemented unidirectional mapping right so but here uh, we are ignoring hibernate lazy initializer so here I have a question is it really or do we really need this JSON ignore properties lazy initializer uh, do we really need to ignore question here answer is no so while Im some people may have doubt while implementing one to one mapping uh, i need to declare uh, json ignore property annotation as well to disable the hibernate lazy initializer uh, exception right so it's not like that some people may follow may buy at the code so if i want to perform one to one unidirectional mapping i just need to declare one to one annotation and then I have to declare at the rate JSON property. It's not like that, guys. Why I have declared this at the rate JSON property? Why I have declared at the rate JSON ignore property as Ibernet lazy initializer. In previous lecture, if you, you you can see, I have explained you in previous lecture why I have declared this. Right? Why I have declared? Because while fetching, so let me show you. Let me disable this in lazy loading operation so i just uh, started a server you can see i just disabled that one so now i just i just uh, send the request if you send the request we got the exception right lazy initializer exception if you open the console we got hibernate lazy initializer because there is no transaction available while uh, uh, sending response back to entity that time in, inside the entity there is a get passport method is being called that time there is no transaction because of that we are getting hyper hypernet uh, lazy issue so then uh, to skip that to, uh, to skip that issue i have declared it as a at the rate json ignore property so now if i enable this what will happen so now let me send the response let me send the request you can see i got the successful response but in real time this is not the best approach why because so he uh, we are just skipping the issue but in real time environment actually what is the because what is the reason uh the issue which is occurred because we are returning employee entity as a response back to the client we are returning employee entity as a response back to the client and similarly here also we are getting request as part of employee entity directly so in real time environment we should not use entities to get the request data and we should not use entity to entities to send response back to the client because we have to use entities only to perform database operation in business logic inside the business logic only we have to use to perform database operations 
uh, all the entities not only employee entity which are all the entities we have in your project those entities we have to use it for only to perform database operations after performing data base operations so the moment uh, control back to the controller then we should not use the entities at all why because entities will always try to connect with the database table right so the moment you declared your entity as a at the rate entity it will always associated with your database table so while returning the response back do we really need to connect with that uh, our entity uh, need to map with the database table no while getting the request from the client that time do we really need our entity to map to the database table no so because of that we should not use entities to get the risk request data and we should not use entity to entities to send response back to the client so uh, in real time what we have to do we have to create separate employee object employee dto object we have to create separate employee dto object and dto in the sense data transfer object the dto will get the data and the data is being set to your employee entity so we should not directly use entities in controllers to get the request even if you get the request but uh, you will get the data but that in real time environment that is not good at all because it will always have issues like uh, the, uh, if you use entities here it will always try to your employee and whenever you are sending request to uh, from the client to server that time whenever database operations are performing in controller also this entity always try to uh map your uh, entity to database table so that is not correct way of implementing it so what we can do we have to use dto classes we should not use entities to get the request we should not use entities to send the response so how we can avoid so and also we no need to uh, uh, ignore this json property also so we should not uh, ignore this json property also some people may think uh, while implementing one to one annotation uh, uh, one to one relationship mapping i need to specify this one also uh, answer is no we should not we, we, we do not need to specify in one to one relationship mapping at the rate json ignore properties we do not need to specify so because of uh, some lazy initialization exception that's the reason i have ignored it simply skipping the issue so why because we are using entities as a uh, sending response back to the client so whenever you are trying to send the response back to the client our entity always talk to the database table so that is not correct when our entity has to connect to uh, talk to the database only while performing insert or update data, uh, database operations right so whenever insert or update delete operation that time only we have to use entities and our entities will connect with the database table but while sending response back to the client that time our entity is no need to uh, connect with database table so that's the reason we should not use entities as part of uh, while getting the data and while sending response back to the client so what is the alternate solution so we have to create dto object so let me create package called dto so inside the dto we have to create employee dto that's it so, so what employee dto should contain so employee dto should contain what are all the properties inside the employee entity same thing so just uh, double click on here you just need to copy all the properties your, your cursor is there right in uh, here in this cursor just double click on the cursor control c and go to your employee dto and again here double click and paste it that's it so same property should have our employee dto also but only thing is that this is not the entity so we should not specify these annotations are not needed control shift to go 
to organize the imports so to remove the imports as well so now here now this will this is a normal dto class right this is a normal dto class this is this class is not belongs to entity similarly inside this employee dto the, this passport is entity right so we should not declare we should not use entities here so again for passport also we have to create separate dto new class passport dto finish so passport dto will have the properties which is having passport entity same properties can copy the properties and go to passport dto and double click on the cursor and then paste it so here also same it should not have annotation so now employee dto uh, and passport dto both are ready both are data transfer object why we are calling data transfer object we are sending request from the client uh, request in the sense so if you want to create the employee let's say uh, uh, if you try to create the employee so we have to send the, this request to the client right so we are sending this request to json request to the our server so that time we have to use dto data transfer object we are transferring data from client to server nothing but dto data transfer object so here now i have created dtos now instead of returning employee dto go to our uh, service mpl so currently our service impl is returning entity so we should not uh, uh, send response we should not send client we should not send response back to the client as a entity we should always send dtos only so how we can now in that case what we have to do this method always return entity only so the returned entity we have to convert into uh dto we have to convert entity to dto how we can convert entity to dto let me put null here paste it here so here em employee entity right so this is employee entity right so this method will return employee entity and this method we are returning currently so now instead of that what we will do uh, copy paste issue let me control v yeah so we have to convert this entity to dto so how we can convert entity to dto either manually we have to create the employee dto object and then we can extract the data and we need to set this data to employee dto instead of that so we have a future call so if you want to convert uh, employee dto to employee entity to dto we have to write code manually like employee dto is equal to employee dto and then we have to set uh, all the data from entity to dto so we have to write the code so instead of writing the code there is a dependency called model model mapper maven repository just type model map model mapper dependency you just need to type model mapper maven dependency so go to maven repository and take latest version of dependency model mapper dependency so model mapper dependency is used to convert entities to dto not only need any uh, any pojo class objects we can convert from entities to dto so this dependency we need to add it into form.xml so, so i just added dependency so it will download automatically in background so whenever you are adding dependency in form.xml it is always recommended to better update your project right click on the project and move in and select update project and force update click ok otherwise this dependency will not work properly whenever you are not only this dependency whenever there is a modification in form.xml manually whenever you are adding dependency that time you always better to update the project my project that's it so now dependency is added now we can convert our uh, 
entity to dt occurs how we can convert so by creating there is a class called model mapper model mapper is equal to new model mapper that's it so now this model mapper will have a method called map so this map method what it will do it will convert uh, uh, left hand side first argument it will have two arguments uh, different set of map methods are there so i am taking two argument uh, uh, method so here this should be uh, in employee model sorry model mapper dot map method what it will do it will convert any object to another object one object to another object so how we can convert one object to uh, uh, another object in the sense same it should be same kind of object guys it should be same similar kind of object so here what we are trying to do we have to convert employee entity to dto so first argument should be your employee entity and second argument should be employee dto employee dto dot class you have to pass that's it so what what is the meaning of that here so we are converting employee entity to employee dto so finally this method will return this statement will return employee dto that's it so map model mapper dot map to convert entity to dto so whenever you are converting entities to dto so this always the statement will always will return employee dto so i will just return employee dto that's it so now currently earlier we are returning employee entity right instead of entity now we are we have to return dto so let me change the definition of uh, find employee method that's it control shift to o and then go to your service implementation class and dto just change it control a control shift f to organize the code okay so now here after uh, getting response from the database we are getting entity we are trying we are uh, converting entity to dto so we are returning the dto here so now there is exception controller why so earlier we are returning entity now instead of entity we have to return employee dto control shift to work. so our response entity also should return employee dto control a control shift F. that's it so now in earlier instead of send earlier we are sending employee entity right so during while returning employee entity as a response we are getting some issues like uh, lazy initializer and also uh, employee entity is trying to connect with uh, uh, whenever you are sending request when, whenever you are getting response back that time our entity always try to connect with our database table but here while returning response entity no need to connect with database table right that's the reason we should always return in real time we should not return uh, entity object we also we, all, uh, we should always return dto class object or any your customized objects okay so now let me send the request so in your employee entity uh, so this i want i don't want to do now this i don't want to specify without doing this why because now i am not using entities while sending re response uh, while returning re response back i am not using entities so entity when this when this issue came when this lazy initializer issue came when it is trying to send response back to the when entity is trying to send response back to the clients that time uh, there is no session available to get the passport details that time we are getting the issue so because of that we are uh, we should not use entities as a response so we should always use model objects or dto objects as a response okay so now in employee i earlier uh, 
we are getting issue that's the reason i have given now i don't want to give this let me start the server and check the response now i am trying to send the request from the rest line now this is not needed let me let me check our server started successfully or not our server started successfully so now if you send the request method not allowed yes why because uh, find employee method what is what is the type of uh, http request method for find employee get request method then send the request internal server error why so let me check here the console and go to your business logic what we are trying to do here we are converting employee entity to employee dto employee dto we are returning it here and then in our uh, yeah so why because uh, now this exception we got uh, uh, let me send the request again see still we are getting exception why because in our uh, dto class object if you see the dto which you have created still we have passport see entity inside the dto i have declared it still passport so in dto we should use dto only we should not use entity now again we got the exception because it is trying to call get passport method and get passport method returning entity so again entity is trying to connect with the database to fetch the passport information that time we got the exception because there is no session available so now what we have to do here also this is dto right here we should not use entity we have to use passport dto we have created right passport dto just change your passport dto that's it control yes control shift to go okay that's it to arrange but now in dto the child object also we have to use dto only so now it will not uh, now this dto will not try to connect with the database table whenever get get passport method is being called right so clear the console so now send the request see we got the successful response even without specifying json ignore properties hibernate lazy initializer this is we are uh, specifying because we are using entities to send response back to the client in rest controller so in real time environment or in any companies whenever you are working with real projects you should not what is the conclusion here you should not use entities to get the uh, request this i will change uh, later so here we, we should not use entities to get the request data and also we should not use entities to send response back to the client we also we always have to use dtos we should not use entities in controller only we have to use it in business logic always entities should use while performing database operations after perform once database operation performed successfully in results will come right that that results we should always send uh, as a dto only we should not send entities as a response and we should not get we should not use entities as a request object okay so here also i will this i will change you in next lecture okay so in this class you will learn you will learn so in, while implementing one to one annotation do we really need to specify this no we should we no need to specify this at all some people may have by heart the code okay one to one mapping in the sense i have to specify these two so initially why i have written to to make you understand each and every concept you should not by heart the code you should know what is the purpose i have written this and you should know what is the purpose we are specifying each annotation as well as each statement so earlier we are using entities as a response back 
to send to the client uh, now what i am trying to do i am not using entities to send as a response i am using dtos to avoid uh, 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 to connect with uh, hibernate database table uh, we should not use entities to send response back to the client okay it is very good concept guys this we know at all no need to specify this so while implementing one to one annotation one to one association mapping we just need to use at the rate one to one annotation that is enough if you specify at the rate one to one annotation you 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 are successfully implemented one to one relationship with employee and your passport we no need to specify at the rate ignore ignore json ignore properties that is uh, based on your requirement that time i am using entities as a, a sending response that's the reason to avoid the issue i, am, I have given at the rate json ignore properties now i am using dtos so in that case such cases we should no need to use at the rate json ignore properties you i already uh, this i already explained in previous lecture why i have added at the rate lazy initializer you can check uh, previous videos okay so in next lecture i will explain another new concept okay guys thank you so much we'll connect with you tomorrow in this lecture you have learned new concept to convert uh, ent uh, how to convert d uh, entities to dto and also you got to know it is not necessary to specify at the rate uh, json ignore properties while implementing one to one association mapping okay so you have to based on the your requirement you have to write the logic accordingly okay guys here you have learned two concepts how to convert uh, entity to dto and uh, what is the purpose of at the rate ignore uh, json properties okay so you have to learn concept in depth guys okay thank you so much we'll meet you in next lecture